hello friends welcome back today we are going to see something really exciting and that's nothing but one api and dpc plus plus we have got this recently out from intel and i am an one api instructor as well and i'm going to introduce you with one api and we will go with a lot of practical as well as the feature understanding in this series i'm going to make series of videos which will enable you to clearly understand what is this and how do we use this I hope you will definitely understand and you will definitely like this. This is all easy to do and this is exciting. We are going to have overview of one API. We will introduce you with Intel Dev Cloud. How do we use Jupyter Notebooks for training? Overview of DPC++ and we are going to do a couple of exercises as well. But all these will be done over a period of time. I would introduce you with one API today and then we will go ahead with the rest of the contents over a period of time which I will schedule and we will discuss. This is an industry initiative and this is from Intel. This is one of the top five new products or technologies to watch out for. This is one of the best and this is a cross architecture programming for accelerated compute and freedom of choice for hardware. I really mean it and we have a real good freedom for choosing the hardware, right? First, let's understand the programming challenges for multiple architectures. We have got a lot of growth in specialized workload requirements and variety of data centric hardware are being required right now. You see, you could need CPU for some applications, GPU for something, FPGA for something and other programming models and accelerators are required for something. So when you go with CPU, you will go with CPU programming model. When you go with GPU, you need GPU related code for that. And there is a lot of inflexibility in this case. So based on what do we need, we are choosing the programming model and the hardware to software dependency is kind of really uh, troublesome for us. So we need separate programming models and tool chains for each architecture which are required today, which can be avoided. And one API is here to break that real old trouble. Software development complexity actually limits the freedom for the architectural choice. I have got multiple architectures, but the software development complexity has got a, a lot of connect to it and it really breaks that and we need a solution. One API comes through as a solution. As you can see in the right hand side, we are going to have one API and the one API will get you work with anything that you want and it's going to be really free. The cross architecture of programming that delivers freedom to choose the best of the hardware is the best of the feature that I can tell you from one API. This is 100% based on industry standards, which are there for a long time and it's all okay with all the industry standards and open specifications most importantly are supported. We are going to expose the cutting edge performance features of the latest hardware as well. And most important point is we are compatible with the high performance languages and the programming models, which include the C++, OpenMP, Fortran and MPA. So this is up to date as well as we can go ahead with other programming models including C++ OpenMP that you are already using with. So it's a cross platform, it's a cross platform as well as the cross architecture initiative that I think you would understand by now. You could see that we are having CPU or GPU or FPGA or other accelerators, but one AP industry specification has got DPC++ and API based programming supported. And when you go with direct programming, you use DPC++ which is nothing but data parallel C++. I will talk about it a little later in my series of talks that I'm gonna give you on this. And API based programming has got a lot of support with libraries, for example, for YAML, for DNN, for analytics, and this is real cool. Whatever you need, you need to build some application on video processing, go ahead, pick the libraries, which, go, which is going to support you with video processing. I'm going to work on YAML and I need one API. Yes, go and pick up the libraries that are going to be working with you for the uh, YAML related stuff. So we provide you the complete set of libraries here and it's going to be really useful for you. So it supports you with direct programming and the API based programming. That's the most important point that you need to understand. Also, the one very important aspect of this is this enables code reuse across architectures and vendors. One API supports you to go ahead and reuse your code and different vendors are also being managed through this. I have different vendors architectures being used. How do I use code? How do I go with coding? That's a real problem in many cases and this can be avoided right now. So we have a cross architecture language based on C++ and SQL standards. 
powerful libraries are there and whatever domain you want i think support is there for us and this is low level hardware abstraction layer that's the most important point that you need to understand and this is one api for you data parallel c plus plus i'll show you some examples i'll talk about how the code is slightly different from the traditional c plus plus how do we write the code all these things i'll show you a little later but now understand that this is 100 percent standard space cross architecture language dpc plus plus is nothing but iso c plus plus and corona sql so we are using these two together and that gives you parallelism productivity and performance for cpus and accelerators this is completely based on c plus plus and sql so what happens is you are already familiar with c and c plus plus constructs you can use the same knowledge that you already have gained while we have also incorporated the sql from the coronas group to support the data parallelism and heterogeneous programming so what do we say very simple whatever you know is going to be very useful while we are giving you more features that can help you in data parallelism and the community project to drive language enhancements is most important aspect of it too so what do we give you data parallel c++ it's traditional c++ plus sql added to it you can use your knowledge that you have gained and that's going to be really useful for you to learn this new thing over and above whatever you have learned already so the learning would be easier you are going to spend time on the innovation and not rewriting the software you can spend time in innovating and not rewriting that's the most important aspect of the one api and we have got real powerful one api libraries with uh, this package you get the math kernel library deep neural network library data analytics library video processing library threading blocks and all these are available for you and they are all optimized and you can use it for the target platform that you uh, would like to go with and this is real cool we are going to see all of this one by one but it could take a little bit of time for us to go into it we will do it and please understand we have got intel one api dpc plus plus and c plus plus compiler that are available with us and this is going to help you uh, totally with compilation and totally uh, to provide you an uncompromised parallel programming productivity and performance across cpus and accelerators what do you mean by this i can use any of the architectures across different cpus different accelerators i can go ahead but the performance won't get hit dpc plus plus is based on iso c plus plus and corona sql as i told you hence it is easy for you it uses the common same constructs but over and above that we have got data parallelism supported so this is dpc plus plus compiler for you syntaxes and usage is all the similar because we already know c plus plus there is something more that we need to understand on this what is it sir very simple intel dp sub dpc plus plus compatibility tool what is it well you have written code with coda so you have got codes already available in coda and how do i migrate it how do i move it we have got something called as compatibility tool which will get 80 to 90 percent of your code typically which is going to be converted and you will get it through the compatibility tool that we have so what happens is the developers uh, coda source code will go into the compatibility tool 80 to 90 percent gets transformed and human readable dp sub c plus plus code comes out with inline comments the comments are going to really be helpful for you and that will help the developers finish porting the application and once it is done you complete the coding tune it and get it as a dp c plus plus code in no time so this compatibility helps you in moving from the previous level to the current level you have coda code come to dp c plus plus in no time that's possible and that's easy we have vtune profiler which is very very important and we are providing you with the features like the data parallel c++ which will help you in analyzing we, are, we can analyze which lines of the dpc++ which are consuming the most time so you can understand which line of the code which of your code part which section of your code is consuming more time so that you can go ahead and optimize it a little further and we can tune it with intel cpus gpus for intel cpus gpus and fpgas as well and you can tune open mp offload performance as well wide range of performance profiles are available for cpu gpu fpga threading memory cache you have lot more we have got language support which you will be really stunned to know about we have got dpc plus plus which is feature that i need to highlight here c c plus plus fortran python go java or mx you can use any of this and these are all supported so the traditional programming still can be used with mild level of upgradations here and there in your knowledge 
and that's all it's very easy for you and we've got Intel advisor which will help you it's a kind of assistant that will help you in designing your system better so offload advisor is there which will help you in estimating the performance of offloading to an accelerator roofline analysis is there which will help you in optimizing the CPU GPU cores for memory and compute vectorization advisor is there and threading advisor is there so we can add effective threading to non-threaded applications flow graph analyzer is there which will help you in creating and analyzing efficient flow graphs and all these can be learned it's all very easy and these are all real powerful features which will definitely help you in understanding things we have got many kits available and these kits are all domain specific base toolkit is available which is called one api base toolkit and we have got domain specific toolkits like hpc toolkit iot toolkit and rendering toolkit toolkits powered by one api are also available AI powered i mean intel AI analytics toolkit open vino is also part of this and you can use the power of open vino as well so we can go ahead and learn and use all these and it's really cool so we have got the base toolkit here which will enable you to go with direct programming api based programming and it also provides you analysis and debug tools when you go with direct programming you have got support for dpc plus plus and c plus plus we have got compatibility tool we have got support for intel distribution for python and when you go with api based programming we've got multiple library support available over there as we already discussed and debugging can be easier here we have got analysis as well as debugging if you just debug that's not going to be sufficient we are going to analyze as well as we can debug with the supportive tools available in the entire pack right we have got it free for you you can download and start using it software.intel.com slash one api is the link that you need to go we have got a lot of webinars training modules available there code samples and you can try downloading use the repositories and learn intel on api it's going to be easy as well as interesting i'll talk about intel dev cloud as well sometime later i'm going to go ahead with a demo on that but we'll see a little later until then stay tuned i hope you like the content and the session if you have any questions please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be able to answer them thank you very much